We're Mike and Joe, and we're planning to travel 3,000 kilometres around Europe on our 20 year old bikes. We have a vague plan of what we're doing, we're going to take one day at a time. So come along for the ride. now. We didn't actually do a test ride fully loaded, so this is our first time. There's a few little glitches we having to stop and sort things. We got to Pool Harbour where we were the other day. So that's our ferry over there, the Bar Fleur. Gonna take us to France, to Cherbourg. Excited? Yeah! <laughs> We're on board. Apparently no swell today, so yay. So just sitting on the ferry waiting to leave. Oh, it's nice to relax in these comfy chairs. <laughs> it's a four and a half hour crossing, so we get to Cherbourg at two, and then we're not sure what we're doing, we're just gonna play it by ear. So we've packed a little picnic for the journey. We've got some mini pork pies, which we've already started eating. Some chippies, or crisps as they call them in England. Ginger nuts, in case I feel a bit seasick. And we've got some packed sandwiches in there too, so stacks of food. across the channel now that's halfway to France and the sun's come out well, maybe it's just England don't just tell them over there Shh. think what they've missed out from Brexit <laughs> big long wall there coming into to Cherbourg what is that Mike uh, sea defenses defend the harbour entrance to the harbour We don't know where we're going still, we're just heading south, down the coast. I think we go through here. for a ATM to get some euros out and some water and maybe some snacks. So we cycle around in circles, having got off the ferry, trying to find water and an ATM. But we find ourselves in the Place de Charles de Gaulle and this beautiful theatre behind me. Finally made it out of Sherbrooke. It was hard work. It was a big hill, big slog, and we're just so on foot. Right. Just a gentle slope, but going it's, up, and yep. up and up and up and up and up and up and up. We didn't stop at Sherbrooke this time, but we just wanted to get out of town, find a camping ground, because we haven't actually set up our tent yet. We, used it, we haven't used any of our new gear. <laughs> Quite a busy road we were just on, but hopefully this one looks a bit quieter. So we're heading towards the coast. Mike's found a camping ground there about six or seven k's from here. Just turned off down a road. It says Route Bari, which sounds to me like the route's barred. I'm just following Mike. Don't worry. <laughs> this is where we're supposed to be going. Camping ground and the route's bar. Let's see what it says. 
So um, there's another route, it's just an extra two minutes longer, so it's worth doing that. Might want to go down there, but I can hear trucks, and I don't really want to go down there and have to cycle back again. So we're going to take a little deviation. Hope the camping ground's open, because I'm knackered. Just come to a little town, some houses. I think this is where the camping is. Camping Municipal de Clairefontaine. So 10 euros to camp. This is our little camping spot for the night. Now we just got to figure out how our tent goes up. This is our little tent. It's tiny. Look at these little chairs we got. How cool are these? They're tiny. And they're really comfortable. <sighs> That's it, Mike's got our tent up. I've got the chairs up. It's quite a big tent. It's a Shrek three man. We wanted something a little bit bigger because last time it was, you know, it's just a bit hard getting in and out. But it's, it fits into that tiny little bag there. So it's got a little awning at the front, which will be good for putting all our panniers. Now we've just got to get our sleeping bags and our sleeping mats in. They're all new too. It's quite nice being by the coast here. The sun's out, it's actually quite warm. We did 24 kilometers from Cherbourg and another seven from Bournemouth this morning. So we've done about 31 kilometers today. Currently six o'clock, so we're actually quite late getting here. Mike finally got the tent up. Now we've got to try it. We've got all this new stuff to try. We've got new mats, we've got new sleeping bags. So these are our little sleeping mats. Gotta blow them up. They're pretty small. There's my hand. So they're quite tiny. I don't know how good they're gonna be though. They weren't that expensive either. Here you go. Our home for the next few months bed all set up. We don't have a pillow. I've got a pillowcase. I was going to fill it with clothes but I think I'm going to be wearing all my clothes because it's been so cold overnight. So we're just going for a walk to see if we can find the sea and maybe a restaurant. And we found it! The Atlantic Ocean! sunset out here tonight so we might go back cook ourselves some dinner and come and watch the sunset what's, what's for dinner Mike? chicken and mushroom flavour pasta <laughs> had to resort to emergency rations because we haven't seen a shop this is our dinner after a big day cycling what is it like Mike? hang on hang on, hang on. what is it like? red pasta it's probably going to be gross So that's it, first day cycling done, we're exhausted, ready for our first night in our tent. So until next time, stay safe, be happy, and have fun.